is a wonderful place. I camped at last night in my new little camping car, tow car. Those are the Sawtooth Mountains. And down in that valley, just behind this hill, is the town of Stanley, it's just behind there. Yesterday it was sunshiny and beautiful. The snow sparkling on the mountains and the blue and puppy clouds. But it was so incredibly windy. So I had to hunker down inside. I'm going to show you my new car setup. So when I'm delivering an RV, I just have to unhook it. I have it ratchet strapped here. Just unhook it, drop it down. These are my safety chains that I hook onto the RV. And then there's a plug-in which is hidden underneath here. The wiring goes up along the back here. To these two back lights and those lights are connected to the RV. So my directionals and brake lights and all that are on there. And I put on this see-through privacy stuff. More not so for the privacy because I use Reflectix when I want privacy, but it's to keep it cooler when I'm driving in the sun. And this is a Toyota Matrix 2003. And I had 183,000 miles on it when I picked it up. And then the solar panel I bought at Santan Solar in Arizona. I delivered an RV down there. And I had my Dodge Neon. And I just ratchet strapped this thing onto the top of that car and brought it home. And I was considering making a pop top on this. Um, I may still do that in the future, but for now this is how I'm going to use it. Because it would only give me a little small area behind the seat here where I could stand up. And I'll show you the inside. Start in the front seat, the cockpit when I'm driving. So I have my phone here for navigation. I have my tablet there for checking different things. Actually, you have to use my log book. You have to log your hours when you're delivering RVs. And then up here I have my headset and our earphones. And then I also have a radio transmitter thing here so I can play music off my tablet through the stereo system on here. And I just have my garbage bag here, Kleenex, wet wipes and stuff handy. This bag has my clothes in it. And this is my refrigerator, which doesn't have much in it right now. I have some water and most of the other stuff underneath my bag is the tools I need for um, hooking up the RVs and all that stuff. And if there's any breakdowns. Here's where I keep my table. Now we'll take you into the back side. So here you can see, I can see out through that privacy window stuff. It's pretty good. But it's mostly just white from the outside. Especially if the sun is out and it's dark inside. You can't see it all. Okay, so here is how I have it with the seat back all the way for driving. So when I'm going to come into the back, I push that seat all the way forward. Forward all the way, and I pop this all the way forward. And I have my extra shoes or sandals, depending on what I'm wearing, underneath the seat. There's a little pocket here where I keep my light, knife, mirror, flashlight, which is also a car car jump starter had at Walmart for like 25 bucks and I've used it for jumping cars that works really good okay so here in the back I now have lots of room where I, in my neon I had no place to sit other than the driver's seat um, that's the bed it's all the way back here so my bedding is here in my backpack and camera gear stuck in that corner. All my Reflectix here. So I put them, if I'm in a truck stop, I put the Reflectix up just to block out all the light so I can sleep in dark. Um, so I have it all the way around. 
and it gets pretty black in here. So I can sleep good, and I usually have to wear earplugs because there's always lots of noise in the truck stop at night. So reflector cell tucked in here. This is my book for RV stuff, all the paperwork. My shaving kit, but I don't shave anymore, so it's just my toothbrush and other stuff. And under here is all my blankets, my pillow. Instead of using a sleeping bag, I just use a bunch of different blankets. Um, I sleep in all kinds of weather. When you're going from up north in Indiana, I've, one day it was 28 when I was there in the morning. And when I got down to Arizona, where I delivered, when I picked up this um, solar panel, it was 92 or something like that there. <laughs> just a few days later. So I have my emergency toilet bucket there. The solar panel um, cables come in here, go into my charge controller. And then I have a small inverter, which is good enough for running my laptop. And this is the same battery I used in my uh, minivan, my e-bike battery. That's 24 volt, 30 amp hour battery. And then this here's the well, my laptop. This is for charging these little portable batteries. Some cheap ones I picked up at Walmart again. Um, I use those to run my USB fans. And then I can just hang them up on the little hook on this thing. So they just hang right there and I can have them blowing on me. I had to use them one night this week. So reflectics on these little windows. I just keep those in all the time. And I usually keep this one in all the time too. Um, but when I'm laying in my bed, now I have this massive area to look out. It's like at night, it seems like such a long distance way over here to this mirror there. So I had a pretty good view here laying in my bed um, and I get this bed kind of up at an angle. I really don't sleep very well on something that's totally flat so I kind of made it so it's more like a hammock even though it isn't. So it makes me happier. When I want to use my pillow, pulls up there. And then I can either put my laptop there. Yesterday, I actually most of the time I had my laptop sitting here and I had my stove there. And that stove I keep underneath here. And most of the time I just keep it. When I'm in here working, I'll either watching movies, I'll have a laptop sitting up on the edge here and my stove here and all my food stuff i'll have sitting over here i just open the window a little bit and i can heat up water and make coffee or cook and then underneath the the bench seat or the bed platform i took out the other seat so i got all this space in here for storing things so on this side here the lighting isn't too good here, but that's my stove, a box full of pots and pans. This is all my spices and soaps and stuff, a bag full of munchies, my tea kettle. I'll go on the other side and show you that side. So on this side, you can see a little better pots and pans. Got a tent back in there, tripod up front. Those bags there have uh, mosquito netting, sunshade things that you can put over your windows. Vitamin paper towels, food, tea, a bunch of stuff. And then underneath here, like this is emergency equipment required for RV delivery and tools.
bag of garbage. All pockets are full of things that I may need. And there's still ice up on top of my solar panel. A little chilly. That's my new home away from home. It's good gas mileage. My fuel mileage has been between 26 and 29 miles per gallon, which isn't too bad with that big wind catcher up on top and that big bug catcher in front. <laughs> so, but this sure was a beautiful place to spend the day yesterday. I'm going to be heading up through Montana and there's a snowstorm there going on. So it shouldn't be too bad. I think you're only expecting two inches to two feet, something like that. But I'm from Wisconsin. I like snow. So there you have it, my five cent tour of my new home in all its miniature glory. But it has everything I need and I'm enjoying it. So it's been two weeks now that I've been using it for RV delivery and um, this is a great way to end the week of working this last week. But it sure is a gorgeous valley. I feel so sorry for these people that have to work down there and live in this little town and have to look at all these mountains all the time. <laughs> all right take care good chatting with you again thanks for your comments and all that and we'll